So the first one we're going to test is electrical conductivity. Um, this is an easy one to test because electricity is really prevalent. Maybe a hundred years ago when electricity was not so widespread, this one would not be so easy. But because we're in the electrical age or the computer age, this one's much, much easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to test samples of magnesium ribbon, zinc foil, graphite rods, sulfur crystals, iodine crystals, as well as iron nails. The method basically is easy. All you have to do is set up a simple series circuit. So for those who are not electrically minded, I don't like electronics personally, but hopefully you understand this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have a 12 volt globe. So it's just a, just a light globe, or you can use an ammeter, doesn't matter. We need a 12 volt DC power pack. That power pack is probably in your lab somewhere. A five ohm resistor, it's just a little piece of wire with some resistor inside it. We need alligator clips. The way we set this up is essentially, as well as the sample, we just talked about the sample. So here's your 12 volt power supply. This is the positive end. And what we're doing is we're gonna have a light, let's just say we have an ammeter, okay? And then our sample goes there and our resistor goes there. Okay, so this is our resistor, our ammeter, our sample, and our battery. And that's all we have to do. Just connect wires to each of these, and that's it. Okay, very, very easy. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna see what comes out on this device. If this was the light bulb, so if this, we don't have an ammeter on hand, we have only the light bulb, then the light bulb will be either bright or not very bright or off. It'll be a continuous scale. You'll see off, dim, getting brighter, but the ammeter is a little bit more quantitative and that's why I like the ammeter a little bit better. But that's how we just set it up, our circuit diagram. Okay, so what we do is we just test the conductivity of each element by touching the probes or the, uh, the alligator clips to the, each end of the sample. That box that I had essentially would be two wires with alligator clips and you just clip them together onto the sample and then that's that part sorted. And observe the brightness of the globe or the reading on the ammeter. The ammeter will give you a number, the needle will flick, or the globe will be a certain brightness, okay? And then all you have to do is classify each of the metals or each of the elements as a conductor or a non-conductor. So does it conduct or doesn't it conduct? And then you just tabulate your results. Your typical results would be that the magnesium, zinc, iron, and graphite are all good conductors. The ammeter will tell you which one's the best conductor out of these. If I was to guess, probably either magnesium or graphite, if I was to guess. But if you would actually do it, you'd get, you'd, the ammeter would tell you exactly which one is the best, whichever one has the highest number. Or you could look at the globe. If, the, if you have the globe, the globe, the brightest glow will be the one that's the best conductor. I don't like the globe because if you look at a bright light for too long, your eyes start to get sort of desensitized towards it. Even though something could be equally bright, it looks dimmer in your eyes. So I don't like the globe as much because of that. So you wouldn't be able to tell which one's the best unless one is obviously better than the rest of them. And then some of these probably won't show that. The sulfur and iodine, of course, are non-metals. So they're electrical insulators in crystal form. And so the globe won't light up and the ammeter will read zero. It'll be big zip on the ammeter if you're using sulfur or iodine. So those are typical results that you'll see. And if you don't get, well, if you don't get these two categories, then there's something wrong with your circuit. Whether you find out which one's the best or not will be dependent on a lot of factors. Don't be concerned about which ones are the best, just which ones are conductors and which ones aren't, okay?